Hey, Dr. Kevin Connors here again, going over some more of your genetic profile that you're going to get from us. This is kind of what your genetic profile will look like uh, when you get a report back from us. Now, understand, I get people watching these videos and go, oh, I did my 23 and my, and my report doesn't look anything like that. Well, because that's this is not what you get from 23 and Me. So 23 and Me gives you a lot of fluffy reports that are nice and fun, but we have to dig in and look at your different gene snips if we really want to help a person. So I need to take your raw data from 23 and me, put it into our software and come up with a report that looks like this. Our reports are now over 30 pages long. Uh, my practitioner report's probably about 60 pages long. And this is what you're looking at right now is a screenshot of somebody's um, uh, uh, report, uh, practitioner report. Um, on just the general SNPs. So this little video is going to be on the carnitine transportation and your mitochondria. So under the section that says Krebs cycle or energy production, I think it says on the patient report thing, you're going to see a bunch of different families of gene SNPs. Now the reason why these are important is these are all in your mitochondria. Every single cell of your body has mitochondria. Those are little teeny organelles inside the cells. And every cell has hundreds and thousands of these mitochondria. And their whole purpose is to make energy. So if you're suffering from fatigue, it can be tied to this genetic defects. Or these, I should say, because there's a bunch of different pathways. So I'll try to keep this short. The first pathway is the carnitine pathway, and it's responsible for pulling fatty acids inside the cell in order for these fatty acids to go through uh, the fatty acid cycle that kicks out a ton of ATP, that kicks out a ton of energy. Now, this person's got a lot of defects here. You see that? So this person, it may be uh, very advantageous for this person to support these defects. See all these ones in here? So they have some issues being able to get fatty acid inside the cell. Now, um, if this was you, I would definitely be suggesting fatty acid assist, mitochondrial energy assist, or CBS, BHMT assist. These all have carnitine in it, these products. I'd be suggesting one of those depending on other defects that you have in this whole picture because I want to have you take the least amount of supplements as humanly possible. But definitely supporting this would help a person's energy. Your PEG genes are also mitochondrial genes in producing energy, and this person has some issues there. So some panathetic acid would be in order for this person as well. That's where fatty acid assists and ALO formula, which is a fatty formula, getting good fats in that person's diet are going to be important too. The ACAT gene is a super important family of genes that um, uh, can cause a lot of issues with energy production. If you have defects, this person certainly has a number of defects there. The SLC and the ACSL genes also are mitochondrial genes. Now, this person doesn't have a bad picture here, so I would necessarily wouldn't support this. But the ACAT genes, they got a lot of defects on there. This is tends to be thought of as the most important one, this top one. They don't have a defect on that. But if this person had symptoms of really bad chronic fatigue, I'd consider supporting this pathway. The TLDO pathway and the OGDH pathway, all mitochondrial genes, how you handle fatty acids, and uh, alpha ketoglutarate in your fatty acid cycle and in the Krebs cycle in order to produce ATP. Now, this person isn't horrible, but they certainly have some defects there that if their symptoms were, were a big issue uh, with um, chronic fatigue. Now, this person doesn't have a big issue with chronic fatigue, and it's kind of suggestive of their gene profile because a lot of them are really, really clean. So... Um, a lot of my patients have a lot worse genes in their mitochondrial genes than this person. So these are your mitochondrial genes. Now, there's other reasons why a person could have fatigue. Definitely, when we get down to looking at ability to absorb vitamin B12, their iron levels, uh, is their iron being oxidized, etc., etc., there's a lot of possible reasons. 
but this is one of them. If they can't produce energy in their mitochondria because they can't get, you know, glucose through the Krebs cycle and glycolysis and fatty acids through the fatty acid cycle, they're definitely going to have lower energy. So that's what these genes are when you look at those. Great. I hope that helps. Thanks.